SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me, there are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can, it's a bucket, and it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie, I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. A little dabble do it. I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, let it be known that the Chum Bucket will humbly accept its role as the town's sole source of sustenance. You fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the chum bucket ever again. Wait, was that last part really necessary? Oh my, yes. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power. Two? Create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. Ooh, my karate gear. The most stylish outfit I own. around will be much faster with these seahorses. Will be much bumpier too. These jelly things kind of look like something Squidward would make, right? Oh yes, I think he called them, what was the word? Art. Well, I'm gonna call them Samantha. Don't give up hope, SpongeBob and Patrick are on their way. Stretch limos. You gotta stretch first. You think Sandy came this way? She never struck me as a red carpet squirrel. But, uh, what do I know? Good thing I put on an extra layer of sponge gloss today. I have to admit, totally would have expected someone bigger for the part, but everyone seems small to me. <laughs> Sorry, am I oversharing? It's my first day, and I'm so nervous! Film is starting one minute and 58 seconds. Uh, no, 57. Oh, script up. 55. Uh, just hurry up! Statistically speaking, the director's assistants only last 0.87 days before they're let go. I need to do better. 
Chop, chop, this way. He isn't the patient kind or the understanding kind or the kind kind. I can't believe this is the leading man. Let's take some pictures to capture this train wreck. Wow, they're taking photos of us. Are we in the movie? Oh, do I look bloated enough? I just had my shit inflated. <laughs> This is a no-go zone. The stars get cranky without their meat. Guess we gotta find another way, Patrick. Sticky sweet. Sign my biceps. Sign it! Whoa. Larry's gonna need you to bulk up. This is a restricted time. zone. No photo bombing allowed. Sticky sweet! The director is waiting for you. Huh? How did you get here so fast? She must have cut the line, Patrick. Lucky. Hey, You'll be fine.
a headset on. We must have traveled into the distant future. I think it's just a movie set, Patrick. Ooh. Then where's the craft services table? I'm hungry. Sticky sweet. Unfashionably late, I see. Now get to your marks. The director is Squidward? He's got vision, SpongeBob. And quite a few things in my day, but it's all part of the job. Wow, that's dedication. But it must be worth it to have all those adoring fans. Yeah, adoring fans, right. <laughs> what squirt of an actor did those at the agency lay upon me? I promised them art, and how do they repay me? I demanded a hero, not a little yellow marshmallow. Did you shrink by spending too much time in a hot tub? <sighs> Hi, Mr. Director, sir. I'm SpongeBob. Filming starts at 9, uh, 8, uh, uh, really soon. Can't those uncultured casting urchins comprehend that I am allowing them to be part of what is sure to be the greatest film sensation ever to hit the sea. But don't lose heart. I still have the talent to turn you into a tool of destructive beauty. Oh, goody! In this scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. And don't walk out of frame. And action!
a beautiful bubble. I want to pop it. You can't. It is indestructible magic thanks to the jelly you're collecting from my, um, our... Cassandra, are you sure this is the right place to find Sandy? The portal brought you right where you're supposed to be. Don't resist the Jellyverse. Instead, take it, store it, and bring it to me. Besides, the Jelly whispered that you've done some... Don't your square pants long to be in the spotlight once more? You're right! If it means saving Sandy and the world, then I'll just have to act my square heart out. Thanks, Cassandra! We're so lucky to have Cassandra helping us. What a selfless lady. to see a wimp run around, I'd be directing Wimp Racer 2, like my agent told me to. This is a karate film! But I guess I have to work with what I've got. Let's start with something simple. A karate kick! Karate kick it! To really prove that you know how to embody a great hero of karate, I have prepared a little challenge for you. Across the roofs of the city. Now, kick down that door and get moving. I say we wah, kick things off. <laughs> Look quick and hungry. Yeah, we got that in common. Not the quick part. I think we'll need that part to get past them. Oh, no. Not these know. guys again. Mm -hmm. Karate kick them out of my darn sack. Look out. Oh, yeah. 
There's a lot of paparazzi hiding on this set who wish to smear the director's reputation by capturing the fishy side of his process. Which obviously doesn't exist. It would be real cool if you could distract them with some of your fancy moves. I will make myself extra picturesque. The security guard will let you pass now. I guess some guy dealt with the paparazzi. You can pass now. It. A real Karate King has to prove cat-like reflexes. I feel inspiration is about to strike. I found draft services! Those <clears throat> volunteers in the box <laughs> will help you train your reflexes. When someone pretends to escape, whack them! Won't that hurt them? That's legally impossible. The contracts clearly state that they, quote, can't be harmed. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. But wait, Patrick didn't sign a contract. 
What? Oh, fine. Then don't whack him when he appears. It'll help test your, um, concentration. Now, let's go. We're burning valuable spotlight. And action. I have to karate kick the crew? Well, I hope I don't hurt them. Oh, well, okay. Making movies sure is a weird process. You're not entirely useless, as long as you keep moving. Now head back onto the streets. The next screen test is about to start. Go! In this scene, your nemesis tried to rob a bank and left nothing but chaos. Innocent bystanders got stuck in the ground and need their hero. Believe it or not, that's you. Save them before the time runs out. And action! Some villain buried people under rubble. Who could have done this? It wasn't me, SpongeBob, I swear! Oh, thank that, Jim. I never doubted you for a second, buddy. Ooh, more jelly! Hmm, looks like some kind of animal dug these holes. To do what? Hide nuts for a winner? Get rid of SpongeBob. I mean, just look at you! Thanks to my genius, your performance has become tolerable. Now go ahead and strike some heroic karate poses for the press. Fast. 
best. I'm mean, and I can do this. I got method on me and disappear into your character. Remember why you're there. To get me more jelly. Uh, don't you mean to save Sandy? Right, of course. And also to save your squirrel friend. If you want to convince my audience that you're the real Karate King, you have to be as fast as a leopard. Or was it a cheetah? Whatever. Hop into the red boat and chase down your nemesis. But I don't have a driver's license. Throw your squishy bottom on some vehicle you're allowed to drive and get on with it. Sticky sweet. Comfortable seat, no slip pedals. Definitely has the cool factor. This is my ride, baby! I almost forgot to mention, all the danger is real, and we've taken no safety precautions to up the drama. And action! Drives like a maniac. Yeah, a maniac who loves barbecues. What a nut job!
citizen in need. Karate Bob to the rescue! We have to fight those jelly guys again. I hope we can use stun, man. This film would be a train wreck, but the director went all out. Those jelly extras were very convincingly beating me up. Well, we thespians do take our jobs pretty seriously. And his choice for the villain? Wow! I just caught a glimpse. That's a wild animal if ever I've seen one. This sand garden is so... Listen, you talking cheese. You're not getting paid an exposure for chit-chat. If you want to convince my audience you're the real Karate King, you better show them some impressive acrobatics. Now, run across the roofs of the skyscraper to get into your nemesis fortress. Could I just use the elevator? No! And action! Sticky sweet! Sticky sweet. I knew I could count on you, Patrick.
little dabble, do ya? I'm feeling better already. You know what they say. Keep your friends close and your dojos closer. <laughs> I don't care. Well, if that ain't the sponge they call Bob, then his biggest Dallas balloonatic partner Patrick's stepping through my door. Actually, we came in through the roof. Is that right? Well, you'll be leaving through the floor, because I'm in a mood, and my mood is karate! Nobody mm. watches a film for the dialogue. My audience demands colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang, not yap, yap, yap. <laughs> now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? And action! <laughs>
Patrick managed to rewind their climactic karate Sponge clash Bob! with the Sponge power Bob! of Cosmic Jelly. Did that explosion give you a concussion? You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off, but that was actually fantastic! I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Let's start shooting immediately! Light, camera, sound, from the top, people! And... No problem, Sandy, but there's still a lot to make right again. See you around! I'm glad Sandy and her weird house came back, but I want my house back too! <laughs> <laughs>